Hello everyone. So previously we saw uh, how to create a quotation for a lead. But what if a quotation, uh, we need to create a quotation for customer. So we'll see that uh, it's almost the same. There's nothing much difference, but still let's just create. So we'll go to the quotation list and then we'll create a new quotation. Okay, now here the quotation is set to customer. All right. So let's um, select the customer. So these are the three customers currently present in the system. So I'll select this customer. Okay, now the rest and everything is same like we did it before. So let's just quickly fill it. Okay, now we also have the option of the address over here. And then we have the currency and price list that we saw before. So basically just everything is same. Um, you just have to like change this particular quotation to a customer. And then uh, we need to make sure that the customers are present in the system. All right. Now let's... Um, Let's uh, just quickly create a small quotation, alright, okay, it's the rate is set to 500, okay, no problem. Alright, now let's add some tax on the net total. Okay, so this is the grand total, alright. Now we can add the payment term if we want to, so earlier we added it. So sometimes what happens is that payment is not all uh, not done at once. So half may be done before the shipment and half may be done after receiving the goods and service. So we can add a template and then this can be done. Alright, so the next is, um, okay, so one more thing. Uh, suppose if a customer has said that, okay, they want to do 50% uh, if we want a 50% um, sorry 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 if you want a 50% advance then okay we'll get a 50% advance and if we want 50% um, on delivery okay so this is the payment term that we have set um, so okay now next is the terms and condition we can add the terms and condition for it and this is about printing this particular invoice and this is about adding the more information if we want to all right so we can also add a supplier quotation so supplier quotation can be actually linked for comparing with your current quotation um, and then we can get an idea of profit loss uh, if we compare the two all right so let's just save it due dates in other rows were found all right so um advance right okay now this delivery due date and uh, let's set it 23rd okay so now it it is saved over here so we can submit it let's just submit it quickly okay now from here we can either print the invoice we can either email the invoice like we did it in the previous section so this can be done all right let's just um, print it and see what uh, what do we get okay so we are getting this particular invoice all right so this is the same invoice which uh, will be sent to a customer okay so this was about it this was for the in uh, the creation of quotation for a customer all right so i hope you understood it thank you so much for watching um, also one thing to note um, one thing is really important is sometimes what happens is uh, like when you're trying to send an email along with this document it does not uh, it does not send and there is some error that comes so you need to make sure that you have installed wk html to pdf so otherwise if it's not there then it will show an error but since it's installed and it's working properly so we will get a uh, pdf generated over here all right so this was about it thank you so much for watching